my pleasure to be with you today here sharing the results of the AMAZE trial, evaluating the outcomes of adjunctive left atrial appendage ligation utilizing the lariat compared to pulmonary vein antral isolation alone. PVI has a well-established role in catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation, but results in persistent forms are still suboptimal. For this reason, adjunct strategies targeting at, uh, sites outside the pulmonary veins have been explored. The AMAZE trial is based on prior data suggesting that left atrial appendage isolation improves arrhythmia-free survival in long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation. The study randomized in a two-to-one manner 610 patients with persistent atrial fibrillation to PVI only or PVI plus left atrial appendage ligation using the Lariat device. Successful closure of the left atrial appendage was safe and it achieved in 85 to 99% of patients. However, it showed no benefit at 12 months in terms of freedom from arrhythmias. There are several aspects to highlight from this trial. First, the success rate in AMAZE was fairly high in both groups, around 60 to 64%. This may be because 80% of individuals included had what the authors called early persistent atrial fibrillation, that is of less than six months duration. And also, it could be due to the type of rhythm monitoring in follow-up, which mainly include a 24-hour halter and symptomatic event monitoring. Second, even if no overall major complications were not increased, there were three cases of serious injuries to the heart that required surgical interventions, and this needs to be taken into consideration. Finally, Exploratory subgroup analysis with all their limitations suggested that early persistent atrial fibrillation and large in volume atria may benefit from left, left atrial appendage ligation, which is contradictory in itself. Further investigation is required to verify these exploratory observations. Mm -hmm.